Well, the 2024 National Farm Machinery Show has just concluded, and I wanted to share a little update. Uh, my wife, Jacqueline, and I had the opportunity to make a quick run down there on Wednesday to film for This Week in Agribusiness. And I wanted to share you a little bit more details on what we learned at the show. Certainly, you're not going to see any tractor pull videos because we didn't make it there. Lots of talk at the Case IH booth. I'm sure that's not a surprise with the launch of their new combine, new corn head, all kinds of stuff. And I just wanted to touch on a little more details about the release because the more you read about it, the more you talk to farmers and actually some of the people that have run this equipment, you realize it's a big year for Case IH with these announcements. Um, you know, it kind of all started, if you remember, when the 715 was announced at the Farm Progress show. And trust me, that got a lot of attention. That's the biggest Tiger they've ever had. I actually had the opportunity to run one this fall. It's a great tractor. Um, there's some similar features on that, especially the drivetrain. Um, at its initial launch, that was the only drivetrain available. Um, I'm talking about a quad track, of course. The undercarriage was essentially the same as the previous models in a very robust undercarriage. I know customers have asked for more. And guess what? At the National Farm Machinery Show, Case IH rolled out their new heavy-duty suspension. And as you can see, it is hydraulically adjusted. And certainly, Case is, is going like other manufacturers and trying to improve that ride and performance of the undercarriage of their very popular quad tracks. And the way I can figure it right now, it says, looking at the website, this is a 2025 option. Um, it will be available on the smaller tractors as well. And certainly, I think it goes without saying, there'll probably be a version on a combine, I would guess, at some point. You're going to pick up uh, faster road speed. Actually, I read a post this morning before I made this video, some guys that have actually run it in the field and said it is very impressive. And you know what? You look at these videos, you realize really quickly, I can see why. You know, they're talking about measured 40% less vibration in the cab. And remember, these are already suspended cabs. That's a big thing. Also, it's got larger drive wheels. It even gives the ability to have a little larger track footprint. It's self-adjusting, which is amazing if you've been around this stuff before. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, tip the cat to Case IH. I think this was something that the quad tractor users have been wanting for years, and they've got it. And it's going to be interesting to, to see this out in the field. Certainly, hopefully, we see it at the Farm Progress Show and in some fields here to check out. Another thing that um, I saw at the show, too, that doesn't surprise me, they announced their new corn head. That's a C516. Um, it's here. At, it was here at the show. You can see it on this combine here in just a few seconds. A couple things there. Um, it is lighter, a thousand pounds lighter than the previous model, which is good. I noticed the drivetrain had some differences. There's a fair amount of stuff too. It's also got a larger cross auger, which um, you know, which is very good, especially on a long corn head like that. So again, that's pretty interesting. Doesn't surprise me. Um, you would need something like that in terms of. Uh, a big corn head in front of that big new combine, which we'll talk about here in a minute. The other thing that was pretty cool here in the video clip, it's going to come around to it, um, sitting uh, kind of roped off where you couldn't touch it. They actually had a wooden model, uh, which is so cool. Now, I've seen this company. They got a pretty uh, active Facebook page. They do semis and tractors and all skid loaders, all kinds of different stuff. But uh, if you go to their Facebook page, it's pretty neat, um, very detailed. The stuff looks awesome. It's called Wooden Wheels LLC. I believe they're in North Dakota, I think. But uh, if you get a chance, it's pretty cool. Most of us love scale models of equipment. But uh, And then, you know what, getting back to that new combine announcement from Case IH, they didn't have the hoods open, um, but the, the more you read about this combine, there's some big things. One of them is the uh, automated hydraulic-driven radar-controlled spreader in the back and we all know once you get to combines really north of class eight spreading that residue is a huge challenge when you got a big header in front and i don't care if it's a 40 footer or a 45 or a 50 foot or these big corn heads we got to be able to spread the residue and it looks like they've uh they've done this and automated it in such a way that wind's not going to matter and all those kind of things which is great 
Um, certainly, this is a dual rotor combine. I don't think that's a secret. And whether it's uh, red or it's yellow, it's the same under the hood. It's it's going to be made at Case's North American Combine Plant. Um, there are going to be some of these around, certainly, this fall. I did have the opportunity to talk to a New Holland dealer. He was pretty excited about getting one out in the field. The biggest thing in the cab, of course, it's got the new displays. That's the first um, that Case has put the display in the new combine. Um, obviously you can get that in a Magnum and a Steiger now. So that was pretty cool. Another announcement that case had was, uh, they, they kind of did this at cattle con, but I talked to the folks from new Holland and case, they've got a new LIDAR sensor that can detect the size of the windrow and then certainly place the tractor and or baler where it needs to be. That was pretty cool. Um, and growing up when I was a young man, I actually had a custom round baling business and, at New Holland, they had a new baler, and I was just inquiring about it, and this is really cool. This is New Holland's first commercial baler, and what does that mean? That means this thing weighs 2,000 pounds more than the normal baler, and he said everything is just overbuilt. And let me tell you, when you start looking at the sizes of the shafts and the bearings and everything, you think, wow. So this is pretty neat. If you, if you do a lot of bales, that's a neat option. The other thing, of course, at the show, um, New Holland had their articulated tractor, which essentially has the same drivetrain on it as the Case IH has had for years, and it's a big step. If you're a if you're a blue guy, um, that's a that's a great addition to a really good tractor, especially if you've got a you know a great New Holland dealer, and that's where you get your equipment from. That's a welcome a welcome addition. And at the booth around New Holland, along with that tractor, certainly they also had their new twin rotor combine there as well. Um, and you'll see here in a second as the camera swings over to it, there were a lot of people looking at that combine for obvious reasons. Now, New Holland, their approach to that combine on its release, they showed it at Agritechnica first. There's tons of videos of it out there running talking to customers. So if you're a Case IH combine user and the new AF11 gets your attention, don't hesitate to go out to YouTube and look around because New Holland's done a good job at what their launch of the combine. Of course, Case IH just did theirs. But you can learn a lot more. And I can tell you this, they had a, uh, a walk around with the combine. Unlike Case IH, the, these guys had the hoods open. You could look at it. They were talking to them. And... Um, you know, this combine's been out now for a few months, so a little different than Case. I, I understand why Case didn't. Um, there's no reason to at this point, right? Um, it's not going to be released till 25, but you go look at this combine. It was neat, you know, to learn a little bit more about it. I think uh, it goes without saying efficiencies. They've rotated that engine 90 degrees, you know, massive horsepower, massive cleaning, massive grain story. I mean, just everything's right, and it, it, it almost looks like what you want in terms of a combine in today's market. And that's what? That's a clean sheet design. I appreciate all the great things from our old combine, but let's integrate some new technology into machines. Let's make it with less moving parts and let's adjust the drive line so we're more efficient. I read one thing that says, you know, they took the engine RPM of these combines down from 2100 RPM operating down to 1900. Well, that only makes it you know, more efficient, right? And they've also made some changes to the airflow of the combine away from traditional ways because they've turned that motor 90. There's just all kinds of things. And the more you learn about it, the more you go, okay, yeah, this is this is a good thing, right? So head over to your dealer and learn more about those new combines. At Titan Tire, the makers of the Goodyear Farm Tire, uh, in their booth, they had a lot of things to talk about. Certainly two things, the biggest being this new tire, um, they've changed the lugs on the LSW. They do have this custom flow grip model now, and essentially you can see it. It's a raised lug, real aggressive, certainly a great option if you're operating in extreme conditions. Um, also, I don't know where a picture of it is here. It might not be in this video clip. They also have a new tire for sprayers. That's really impressive. I talked to Scott Sloan about it. Guys are really excited about it. It's got uh, essentially lugs down the center of the, of the tire as well. Roads well, wears well, super strong. That's one of the nice things about these tires. 
is they can handle the load. They're not overloaded. The rim's not overloaded when you start thinking about the new capacities. Um, at the John Deere booth, uh, they had their sea and spray. Obviously, that's a two-product system. That's always good to see. Um, that's the future, right, is talking about sea and spray and that technology. That's great as well. I know dealers are talking about it. Uh, I talked to Derek and the guys at Yetter. Um, you know, lots of conversations about Devastator, lots of conversations about strip till bars and row unit options. Uh, doesn't surprise me there one bit. I know at the Precision Planning booth, you know, again, there's their new row unit. If you haven't seen it when it was de debuted here just a few weeks ago at Summer Conference. Did I say Summer Conference? Winter Conference, right? And they had their new screen there. Um, I think everybody's pretty excited about that. I actually know a couple guys that have already ordered it. And then, of course, all their options uh, at the Blue Planner factory, right? In the Blue Planner booth at Kinsey, they had a lot to talk about. They're pretty excited about their new planner, and they should be. It's the first time they've put uh, cast row units um, in the inner plant, and it looks really nice. This is a very robust unit. Lots of neat things. It's got integrated uh, fertilizer. You can see the tanks which is pretty cool. And they also have a system that will also keep the fluid between those tanks level, like if you're on a hillside. And when I was talking to Eric, he was, he was pretty enthused about it. Customers are as well. But I was excited. He told me there was a lot of updates to Blue Advantage, uh, their monitoring system, which I equate to an iPhone. And if you haven't seen this system, it is fantastic. I actually talked to a farmer this week who's had it for a couple years, and he said, I, I don't understand. This is the best thing ever. I absolutely love when technology makes things easier. The folks over at Praxidine right here, they've got a product called MixMate. And I don't know if you've seen this. It's been around now for at least five years, maybe. But check this out. So here's your farm and the field you're going to spray. It's got all the products you're going to put on on that particular batch, how much water, all the other ingredients, if you would. You hit play, it starts pulling the water out. This is obviously a simulation that was done at the show. But here's the neat part is if you have bulk products, that it'll draw from those. But if you've got to add products in from a jug, look at how simple this is. So this calls for 0.42 of a gallon, and you simply pour it in and look at the bar graph. Now, Doug explained to me they've updated the software. It's a little bit more user-friendly, as you can see right here on a tablet. But how slick is that? And when you're done, you just walk up and hit the checkbox. Now, the cool part is, is the accounting side of things. That's what I really like. It keeps track of the product by field, which is great. And then the other thing that's pretty slick, you'll see here in about another four or five seconds, is what about cleaning jugs? Nobody likes to do that, right? Nobody does a really good job of that, and it takes a lot of time. Well, the mix mate makes that simple. You just push that over the top and look at that. It blasts water up inside, cleans it out. It works really good. The Applegate family, great farm family from Iowa. I've known them for years. Great people. At this year's National Farm Machinery Show, over 800 vendors. They expected 300,000 in attendees. And if you've got questions, curious about other stuff, go check out farmprogress.com. Lots more to learn.